All right, today we're going to be making a dinosaur. It's going to be three-dimensional, which means it's going to kind of stand up like our pattern pets that we made. So it's kind of hard to see, but I've got a piece of paper here, and then I have a big oval. And I'm going to go ahead and trace that, and that's going to be my dinosaur's body. So I want to make sure I do it right in the middle. And I am using a Sharpie. I think you guys will probably use Sharpies too for this part. So I'm going to trace that. And then I have to decide what kind of dinosaur it's going to be. So I am kind of thinking that I'm going to do like a long neck dinosaur. I forget what those are called. Um, so I know that those have, they have four legs. So I've got another piece of paper here and I have a, another tracer. And I'm going to have to trace this one twice so that I have four legs. And the reason that these are on separate pieces of paper is so that we can cut them out and then we'll be assembling them later on this week. So there's one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and trace it again, oops, for my second one. I should probably also make sure my name is on here while I'm at it. So there we go. Now, I'm gonna go back to my first piece of paper, the one with my circle, and I have to think about, again, that dinosaur. So a long neck dinosaur, I'm gonna to have to draw that long neck and the head. So I'm going to bring this part kind of up like this, maybe go around like a partial oval, and then bring that back down. And I'm going to add a few other details, eyes and a nose and a mouth while I'm at it. And then I'm going to add a tail too, and that's going to kind of swoop down this way. So I'm going to go across and then bring it like this and back. All right, but this looks a little bit too simple, so I might add some more details. So maybe I'm gonna add some just different um, triangles here, create some designs on its back. Maybe you're doing a dinosaur that has spikes or ridges or something along the back, so you could add that. I'm gonna do the same thing up my dinosaur's neck here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of texture, so I'm just gonna add some simple dots so it looks like the skin is a little bit rough. Okay. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add two lines. One kind of like right here and one right here. That way I know where my legs are going to go. So like I said, this is going to get cut out and then it'll go inside that notch. So I like how that looks. Maybe you want to add horns or um, other designs, texture to yours. And then I'm going to um, design the legs here of my dinosaur too. So I think I'm going to add like a straight line across here and here to kind of separate the legs from the feet. And then I feel like this kind of works for toes pretty well. So I'm creating kind of like a line along here. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other leg. Again, think about what textures that you could use. Texture is how things feel. So most dinosaurs kind of have rough skin, um, but maybe yours is going to be a different kind of dinosaur. Maybe it's going to have stripes or different things like that. Okay, so that's our first step. Once I have this fully finished, we're going to go ahead and we're going to color it. You can use any colors you want to. It doesn't have to look like any kind of dinosaur you've ever seen before. But those are our first steps.